Hello, my name is Peter Travis from Flojo and this is the latest in our series of videos looking at the updated Cambridge English First or FCE exam which launches in 2015. Today we're looking at part two of the reading and use of English paper, the open close task. If we turn to the FCE handbook you can see the open close consists of a short text with eight gaps, nine gaps including the example at the beginning. Each gap equals one word, and the candidate has to complete each gap by identifying the missing word. If we look at the example, we can see a gap marked zero, and above the text we can see the correct answer for zero is marked as, that's A-S, as, as in, I worked as a motorbike stunt rider. The main focus in the open close is grammar and certain parts of speech are often tested. Let's have a look at some of them. Pronouns will often be gapped. In particular, look out for reflexive pronouns such as ourselves, yourself, etc. and relative pronouns, who, where, when, etc. Which pronouns are missing in these two sentences? The answers will appear in a couple of seconds. Articles and quantifiers like much, more, some, many, etc. will sometimes be required. Which words are missing in these two sentences? Modal verbs like will, would, must, can, etc. and the auxiliary verbs be, do and have are often tested. Which verbs are missing in these sentences? Conjunctions like although, yet, still or because will sometimes be gapped. Which conjunction is missing here? Prepositions, especially those in set expressions like on the contrary or in the meantime will sometimes be gapped. Which preposition is missing here? Here are some tips for this part of the exam. Make sure you read the complete text first before attempting to answer any questions. Having an overview of the content will sometimes help you to identify missing words. Pay attention to the clauses and words around each gap as these will usually help you identify which part of speech is missing, a verb, a conjunction or a pronoun for example. That's the end of this video. If you'd like further practice in the new FCE exam, visit the Flojo website at www.flow-jo.co.uk.